The table below gives the sample means and the range for the samples. Each of size 5. Construct the control charts for mean and range. And test whether the process is in control or not. So here just we are going to discuss about the control limits. What is CL, UCL, LCA? That if you know, you can draw any chart. That may be range chart or mean chart. Any chart, you need to calculate control lines. CL, UCL, LCA. For that, what is the required information given in the table itself? We need to find, we need to calculate the UCL values, LCL values. We all know that to draw a mean chart, X double bar is needed. X bar is given. X double bar means sum of means by number. Sum of all x bar values. For example, if you treat this one as sample 1, sample 2, sample 3. So like this, if you don't denote 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Here, this i runs from 1 to n. 1 to 10. So the 10 values you need to add, n is 10. If you divide with 10, you will get the answer. That means what I am saying, add this 4.98 plus 4.92 up to 4.98. If you add, what you will get? 49.82 you will get, divide with 10, 4.982. If you divide, the decimal comes to you. 4.982 is x double bar. Next, what is r bar? r bar means sigma r by n. I equal to 1, 2, 10, Ri. That means all the R values you need to add. Add all the 10 values. What you get? 3.6. If you add these second row values by 10, 0 0.36. Now, for n equal to 5, sample size 5 is given. For n equal to 5, table values related to R bar chart we need to find. For x bar, no need. That values we need to see. This is for x bar chart. If need, we can take. These are from control charts table. They are A2 value 0 0.577. The required values we will take. In uh, n equal to 5 line, you will have a table like this. Here, sample sizes will be there. x bar chart, r chart. Sigma chart, that values will be there. Here, in n equal to 5 line, you will get a1, a2 values here, d1, d2, d3 values here. In this line, a2 value, d3 value, d4 value, I am going to write. That is the chart you will get in your uh, textbooks. That uh, table we are going to see now. In that table, we are getting these values, a2 value. Next, D, D3 is 0, D4 is 2.115 from the table. Now coming to our first chart, X bar chart, that is mean chart. Coming to the mean chart, what you will get? CL is X double bar, that is 4.982. Center line UCLX bar mean upper control line or upper control limit can be calculated like this X double bar plus A2 R bar. A2 value we know already we written here and X double bar we know 4.982 plus 0.577 into R bar, R bar is 0 0.36. Use your calculator to get uh, that value, that simplified value. You'll get UCLX 5.18, 5.1897. Similarly, LCLX bar, that is X double bar minus 
ये टू आर बार एक्स डबल बार इज फोर पॉइंट नाइन एट टू माइनस जीरो पॉइंट फोर फाइव सेवन सेवन इंटू जीरो पॉइंट थ्री सिक्स जीरो पॉइंट फाइव सेवन सेवन जीरो पॉइंट फाइव सेवन सेवन द सेम वैल्यू हियर प्लस बिकम्स माइनस कैलकुलेट दिस वैल्यू यू विल गेट फोर पॉइंट सेवन सेवन Now the control line you will get if you see the rough diagram of x bar chart, rough diagram. So control line will be here, approximately at four point nine, and upper control line you will have at five point one eight, and lower control line you will have at four point seven seven. If you plot all values, if you see mean values. These are sample numbers one, two, ten. Here, x bar values. If you plot, you will get all values between five point one eight and four point seven seven. See here, four point nine eight will be in between these. Five point zero two will be here only, and five point zero four you will get here only. Four point nine five that is also here approximately. Four point nine eight that is also here five. So all the values, if you plot, you will get in between control lines. When all the values are in between control lines, then process is under control. Process is under control. When all given mean values are lies between ucl and lcl then we can say process is under control without drawing the chart see here all the values of x bar are lies between 5.18 and 4.77 in our given table so process is under control in x bar chart coming to next chart r chart read the chart In range chart, we all know that CLE is R bar only. The R bar value we calculate is zero point three six. UCL R bar. So because standards are not given, sigma is not given. We are going to take table values. So here the table values are UCL X B four R bar. D4 R bar means D4 value is there. D4 is 2.115. 2.115 into R bar value. R bar is 0.36. 0.36. If you multiply 2.115 into 0.36, you will get 0.76. UCL bar. LCL bar, you will get D3 R bar. We have seen that table table value D3 is zero. D3 is zero means zero into anything zero. So here upper control line is 0.76. This is horizontal line. That means what I am saying, if you see the rough diagram, this will be the LCL. The control line you will get at 0.3. Upper control line you will get at zero point seven. Now this is zero point seven. This is zero. If all the values are in between zero and zero point seven of R bar, then we can say process is under control. See in range, in range, check every value. They are in between zero and zero point seven. If any one value crosses zero point seven. Then process is out of control. If you want, you can check zero point three in between zero and zero point seven, zero point two in between zero and zero point seven, zero point four, zero point one, zero point four, zero point two, zero point seven also on the line. Zero point four, zero point four, zero point five. So all the values, all the values are in between, in between. U C L R bar and L C L R bar, so the process is under control. Process is 
under control. So in both the charts, process is under control. In which we are going to discuss about uh, both the charts, mean chart and range chart. If you want, you can draw the chart also. Simply without drawing chart also, we can decide process is out of control or under control by checking all the values of mean or between ECL and LCL. In the case of range chart, all the range values are in between ECL and LCL. We can easily say process is under control. Okay.